Have you ever given much thought to your surroundings at work? The average full-time office worker spends more than 2,000 hours a year at their office, and so it's important this space is a comfortable one. The simplest changes can have an influence. Even something as simple as changing the use of colour or introducing graphics to the walls can have a profound effect. For example, research suggests that red and orange stimulate both excitement and energy, whereas dark blues can make people feel unhappy or unstimulated. Of course, there are many other things to consider for a productive workspace. How should you set about it? To my clients, most of whom are larger sized SMEs, I say, first of all, to jot down a list of likes and dislikes about your current working environment. This will get you thinking about things that currently aid or hinder you from working effectively. When considering the location of your office, it may be tempting to go for the lowest rent per square foot, but it is important to check the value already built into your workspace. A common guideline is to give general staff a working area of about 8 foot by 8 foot, whereas for mid-management it's around 10 foot by 15 foot, CEOs a little larger 15 foot by 15 foot. Does the existing floor plan reduce the amount of partitioning needed? Has the landlord provided adequate power and what additional data will you need? Simply choosing the right environment will reduce your upfront fit-out costs and make it easier to tailor the space to suit you. Following this, set a budget and stick to it as fitting out a new space can get expensive very quickly. Good contractors will help establish realistic budgets, but you should be careful to spot hidden costs amongst them. Some firms may bowl you over with classy presentations and then hit you hard with excessive management fees or extras after they've started. Less professional firms may quote better initial costs on paper, but might bring less in terms of build quality, design and management. Choosing a contractor is as important as employing a new member of staff and great consideration should be taken over who looks after your office space. Before designing your space, produce a list of objectives. Every workspace is unique and you should consider what you want to achieve, be it enhancing productivity or encouraging interaction. Google's newest London office has a bike drive so that commuters can drop off their soaked cycles and equipment upon arrival so it dries off before they pick them up at the end of the day. Researching existing design scenarios like this and adapting it to suit are helpful to producing your own designs. The methods don't have to be expensive, they could even save you money. Storage can be easily overlooked, but it is crucial to even the most digitally minded firms. Create storage islands which can double up as surfaces for informal meetings while they store necessary documents well out of the way. Business is organic and so is the office environment. From the very start, you should be thinking about the direction your business is taking and build the workspace with half an eye on the future and the ways in which your use of space may change. As teams grow and shrink, you will need to adjust the working environment to suit your needs. For more information and for help with fitting out your office, visit www.fitoutpoint.com.